Hey everyone, our topic for today is about functions of the reproductive parts of flowering plants. The learning objective in this lesson is to describe the function of the reproductive parts of flowering plants. So let's recall again the different parts of the flower that you have learned. So what do you call again the male part of the flower? Okay, very good. So that is called stamen. And the stamen is consist of, yes, anther and filament. How about the female part of the flower? What do you call that? Okay, correct. So that is called pistil. And pistil is consist of the stigma, the style, and ovary. Okay, what are the other accessory parts of the flower? Okay, so we have pollen tube. Another one is petal, ovule, receptacle, sepal, and pedicel. Now let's take a look at this chart. It's called KWL chart. So let us answer the first question, what you already know. Okay, so of course, you already know, you have already learned about the reproductive parts of flowering plants. Now the second question is, what do you want to know? So, do you want to know something more about the flowering plants? So, I would say that you would want to know the functions of the reproductive parts of flowering plants. Now, the third question is what you have learned. So, we will just go back with this after we have discussed our topic for today. Parts of a flower. Flowers are the most beautiful part of a plant. They are also called the reproductive part of a plant as they produce seeds. Seeds give rise to a new plant. A flower has four major parts. Sepal, Petal, Amen. and this bill. Sepals are green in color. They form the outermost whorl of the flower. They protect the flower during its bud stage. They also provide support to the petals when the flower is fully grown. All sepals together are called calyx. Petals are the bright and colorful part of a flower. They make the flower look attractive. Their function is to attract bees and butterflies which help in pollination. All petals together are called corolla. Stamen is the male reproductive part of a flower. It has two parts, anther and filament. Filaments attach to the base of the flower at the bottom and holds the anther at the top. Anthers are knob-like structure which produce pollen. Pollens are the male gametes. Pistil is the female reproductive part of a flower. It has three parts. Stigma, 
tile, and ovary. Stigma is a sticky nub-like structure. It is present at the top of a tube-like structure called style. Style leads into the ovary. Ovary contains female gametes or egg cells called ovules. Some extra information relevant to the topic. When insects like bees or butterflies sit on a flower, pollens attach to their body. These pollens fall on the stigma as the insect moves or sits on another flower. Pollens from stigma enter the style and are transferred to the ovary. The process of transfer of pollens from the anthers to the stigma is known as pollination. Let's discuss now the functions of the reproductive to follow. Examine the illustration of the parts of the flower. Using the illustration, fill up the table.
That would be all for today. This is Teacher Marianne. 